They heard noises and saw flashing lights in a Wiltshire field where a circle was found at dawn today, but the explanation proved something of a disappointment. This was the cause of the initial excitement, fresh crop circles at dawn after a night of mysterious flashing lights. For some hours, scientists from Operation Blackbird high on the Wiltshire Hills really believed they captured on video the actual formation of a crop circle, half a mile away, right under their noses. Too good to be true? Yes. Some hours later, when they belatedly walked to the scene, they found a couple of Ouija boards and crude wooden crosses. They'd been had. The vague video images they recorded were of humans, not aliens. We had seen lights which we could not easily account for early this morning and that we were further analysing that data. It was almost instantaneously clear that it was a hoax. This realisation came too late to stop a gathering of the curious. The news had after all been flashed around the planet. There was disappointment in the air. No jolly green giant. No jolly green giant. I'm disappointed. Oh dear dear dear. I don't think it's a hoax. I don't you still believe it? Do it? Yes, I don't know how they could get it like that. They, whoever they were, could have got it like that by simply sticking a pole in the ground and walking around it in ever-increasing circles, trampling the corn as they went. The circles were not perfect, the straight lines a disgrace to anyone from outer space. Just perhaps a result of spending a little too long at the local pub. So tonight the world remains as we know it, no extraterrestrial sightings, but they're not saying goodbye to Operation Blackbird yet. They'll continue to watch over these cornfields for another three weeks, just in case.